In this episode, we are going to Somerset 313 and experience the spicy grilled fish challenge between Tani at the basement and Paco at the Food Republic at level 5. We will rate the spiciness level, taste, and value for money from 1 to 5, with 5 as the highest. Let the challenge begin! Tani first originated in Shenzhen and has expanded to over 170 different restaurants throughout China and is now here in Singapore. The first time we went here during dinner time cannot allow a very long queue. Now we went here around 2 pm and we got in after 3 minutes. The ambience is really nice. It has vintage, quirky, and unique kind of style. What you need to do is to choose the type of fish, and we recommend the limbo fish. Next, choose your preferred flavor, and the popular one is the fresh green chili. Mmm, this tastes really good, and the fish tastes really, really fresh. Wow, so spicy! In terms of the value for money, it is on a pricier side, but the food is really yummy. It is worth it. No wonder the queue is very long for this resto. To finish off this meal, we ordered one of Tan Yi's popular desserts. The rice cake is soft, sticky, and chewy. Coated with syrup, half of the cake was made of original rice cake, and the other half was made of black sesame. Try this to help you get rid of the spiciness in the grilled fish. Papuo serves Sichuan cuisine, and most of the spices, like the chilies and the peppers, are from Sichuan, China. Papuo was first introduced to us by our dear friend David. He knows good food. And we are back! Even though you can find this at the food court, the presentation of the grilled fish is like it was served in a very good restaurant. Mmm, it's very fragrant and it's very delicious. It looks spicy, but it is very mild. It just looks intimidating at first, but this is more acceptable to the palate. For the value for money, and compared to Tani, you will need to add ingredients that has added cost. But this already got vegetables and mushroom inside at a fixed price, and this is more affordable. Overall, the winner of the Spicy Grilled Fish Challenge is... Tanyi! This is Sunny and Shelly's Choice! I went out with my friend Wendy to Dopa Dopa Creamery. Dopa Dopa got its name from the word dopamine, which is a hormone that controls our level of happiness and excitement. Dopa Dopa hopes to emanate happiness and joy through their homemade ice cream and coffee. What I like with their gelato is they make it from scratch using fresh ingredients. Let's take a look at some of their best-selling gelato flavors. Some flavors may change from time to time. So hurry, try this now! My friend Wendy ordered the pistachio flavor. Yum yum yum! And she treated me with two scoops of gelato with croissant. We usually heard of bread with ice cream, but eating gelato with croissant is on a different level. Yummy! The chocolate s'mores is like a premium chocolate, which I really love, but my personal favorite is their matcha cheesecake. No kidding, this is really good! So get your dose of dopamine from Dopa Dopa today! 
and we have come to the end of this episode. Thank you for joining us in our food tour here in Singapore. You could also suggest what you want us to feature next time. Thank, Thank you for watching. watching! God bless you!